morning and uh, welcome to this video on you know conceptual discussion on topic of multiple type of accelerations you hear about in this chapter so you know if you were to list down those accelerations they are instantaneous acceleration constant acceleration average acceleration uniform acceleration now this video aims at removing this confusion from your mind see in class 9 you had one acceleration which was uniform acceleration and there was no concept of instantaneous there was no real concept of average when you reach class 11 suddenly these words become very confusing because the motion in class 11 primarily which you study is non uniform accelerated motion i mean you do study uniformly accelerated motion but slightly advanced level but the main focus is non uniform uh, accelerated motion or popularly called as non uniform motion if you if you try to understand non uniform motion that is where the you know the terminology gets introduced so the instantaneous acceleration it is nothing but the acceleration which is calculated over a very small time period of maybe 0.0001 second average acceleration on the contrary in the case of non uniform motion is measured over a large time interval and in average accelerations we only worry about the final and initial velocity v2 minus v1 and the time elapsed to achieve you know this v2 from v1 so we started with v1 ended with v2 and you take some time to do that but this time is not very small this time is substantial now so in non uniform motion the average acceleration is different instantaneous acceleration is different there is no concept of constant acceleration there is no constant acceleration so constant acceleration was a concept in class 9 you had car moving with 2 meter per second square and period right there was nothing called instantaneous you never calculated anything in a very small interval of time there was no slope so if you look into the graph on the left hand side the slope is constant but if you look into the right hand side of the you know uh, the diagram it's a non uniform motion and different slopes are there so different instantaneous accelerations are there you can calculate average also between any two large you know uh, time intervals uh, by using v2 minus v1 divided by t2 minus t1 thank you very much